so in the last uh, two lectures uh, we learnt about uh, static registers and uh, we also uh, saw uh, in the uh, last class we learnt a little bit about dynamic registers so dynamic registers can be used for high frequency applications uh, where the data is uh, not stored in a latch but in the uh, intrinsic capacitors of uh, the uh, uh, gates of uh, various stages okay uh, so uh, today we are going to uh, learn about uh, pipeline registers uh, and thereafter we are going to uh, study about uh, static timing analysis okay uh, so if you see an, a normal uh, let, let's first try and understand what is uh, what pipelining means so i have taken this example of four bit adder to explain what a pipelining is uh, all about and what are the advantages of pipelining so i have taken this uh, four bit adder example okay so if you see uh, if you implement a uh, four bit adder so you have you you can have one full four uh, one bit full adders cascaded like this right so in the leftmost you have the uh, carry uh, which is coming from the previous stage and the least significant bit of the uh, two bits four bits which requires to be added so you get the uh, sum and then uh, you get carry out here then you have again the next two uh, significant bits uh, so the carry now if you see here the carry has to be has to propagate from one full adder to the other full adder from the left to uh, right so you get the all the sums out here and you get the uh, carry on the uh, le leftmost uh, uh, full adder right from the msb full adder you get the uh, carry out which will the uh, total carry out of the uh, sum of this four bit addition right okay uh, now uh, if we uh, try to just uh, 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 put some values uh, uh, into the figure of merits so that we uh, compare with the pipeline adder so let's do that when we uh, say uh, what is the uh, delay of this circuit right so if you see here uh, uh, one carry is to be generated here uh, obviously uh, sum is generally we design a full adder in such a manner that the uh, carry is generated uh, faster than the sum because carry needs to be propagated further right so even if you see the 28t uh, transistor uh, which you might have uh, learnt in your uh, vlsi uh, class and the carry was generated and carry bar was used to generate the sum bar uh, so uh, yeah okay uh, uh, is it audible now okay yeah okay uh, so uh, if, if this we have uh, learnt in our uh, previous uh, classes uh, in in your vlsi course that the uh, carry is generally generated uh, first uh, within the full uh, adder uh, generally we target least propagation delay for the carry than the sum because carry needs to be uh, propagated uh, further so you have an a uh, carry coming here so the propagation delay is one carry plus one carry plus one carry and then one uh, sum because uh, this carry will be generated faster this sum will be slightly uh, slower so the total uh, pro uh, delay of this uh, four bit adder will be uh, a three propagation delay carry plus one propagation delay uh, sum uh, is this uh, aspect clear to all of you okay so this is going to be the uh, pro propagation delay right now if you see here uh, the uh, power will be a power of four uh, adders and and throughput uh, throughput is uh, nothing but uh, uh, the uh, rate at which and uh, valid data comes out of this uh, uh, full block okay now uh, if you see here uh, in this case uh, it, it since the propagation delay is this much uh, so at, uh, after this much time one full da you know, valid data would be uh, available so that is known as an, uh, throughput so this much time it would take that is the full propagation delay it would take for one valid data to be uh, available once you have given one uh, input uh, after uh, three uh, uh, adder delays uh, carry and three one sum adder delay uh, you will get the uh, required data outside which is valid so in between there will be some junk values okay a uh, gate complexities there there will uh, there are uh, four uh, 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 adder blocks which are uh, required okay so uh, now uh, a better uh, option available is a pipeline a uh, four bit adder okay uh, so we will see uh, what is the advantage of uh, pipelining okay uh, 
uh, what does an uh, S3 means? Uh, S3 means some, uh, this is 4 bit, right? A0, A, B, A0, A1, A2, A3. They are the uh, 4 uh, input, uh, 4 bit input. No? Uh, one is A, one is B, B0, B1, B2, B3. Uh, S0, S1, S2, S3 are the uh, some outputs, 4 bits. Uh, is that okay, Akhilesh? Yeah, they are the uh, for MSB. Sir, uh, what is the significance of? Uh, no, uh, just to uh, uh, we want to uh, uh, compare the uh, uh, total uh, area with respect to the uh, pipeline radar. So that is the reason we have just uh, put some figure of merit there. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, th throughput is uh, one by uh, functional uh, delay. Uh, yeah, you you can say that uh, throughput is. Uh, one of functional delay that means you know, one data will be available at, at, at it is uh, inverse of uh, functional delay yeah uh, Shiv Kumar uh, what is the thing uh, which I need to uh, repeat yeah okay uh, I think I have enabled uh, all your mics also in case there is an uh, issue uh, please uh, uh, functional uh, delay okay uh, delay delay aspect if you see here uh, uh, the first full adder okay the sum will be generated and the uh, carry will be generated here uh, generally uh, the uh, adder will be so designed that the uh, carry generates is generated no, earlier than the uh, sum because uh, because the carry needs to be propagated so the carry uh, defines the overall uh, delay of a big system right so that is the reason if you see if you if you have uh, read about the 28 uh, transistor also uh, in your vlsi classes we generate carry and then and the carry bar and then carry bar is used to generate the sum so uh, so you can assume that carry will be generated faster than the sum so here in this case uh, one carry delay one carry delay one carry delay and then we are not taking the other carry but we are taking sum because we are assuming a sum will be and uh, uh, will have more propagation delay than the carry so that is why the total uh, delay is like this uh, and, uh, three uh, carry and one sum uh, yeah, is it okay yeah uh, g uh, adder is uh, a g adder uh, is the area of one uh, it is just a figure of merit how many gates we are using okay uh, so it is not uh, it is just an indication of the rough indication of the uh, area okay so that's all so when we uh, c com compare at the arithmetic level okay uh, there is no point in uh, getting too much details into uh, transistor uh, uh, and actual area uh, computing so so we take a uh, gate complexity means uh, how many uh, uh, modules are used uh, so it gives a rough uh, 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 indication of the area but it's not an uh, uh, accurate uh, uh, figure of merit okay uh, so uh, so this is what a full adder looks like uh, now uh, we are talking about an uh, pipeline and a, a four bit adder so how is it going to uh, help now if you see these are the uh, four uh, full adders uh, so uh, a0 b0 is uh, given here in the uh, full adder and you have uh, the output going to one register and and the carry is coming to this register one register right so in the in the first uh, so initially uh, what happens to the uh, first a1 and b1 it comes to this register okay so it's it's waiting here so this uh, again this is this data the a2 and b2 is available here a3 and b3 is available here so in the first uh, clock okay uh, these are going to give some data uh, uh, it's not in a use to us okay and now this is the one which is going to compute a0 b0 in the first clock the data will be available in in this register right so the one the first clock uh, this uh, a0 b0 will be captured here sum will be captured here and uh, carry will be uh, captured in this register okay uh, now now and also uh, this data a1 b1 will be uh, captured in this register uh, a2 b2 will be captured in this register uh, a3 b3 will be uh, captured in the topmost register out here in the second clock cycle uh, you will find uh, this sum is propagated on one register uh, below out here and now this carry is available here these are available here so now this full adder uh, computes the uh, uh, sum and carry so that is available uh, out here now 
and and then this carry will be uh, stored in this register okay uh, okay in the third clock cycle now this data a to b2 would have reached uh, till here uh, so now the carry is available here so now this starts computing okay uh, meanwhile this data is uh, uh, coming out from one register to other here and in the fourth clock cycle uh, this a3 b3 will be uh, available here so this will be uh, computing uh, uh, no, the full adder will be uh, computing out here uh, and then the carry will be available in this uh, register. So, if you see here, uh, in after the four clock cycles, uh, this sum will be available out here, right? Okay, the uh, sum will be uh, available here. Now, if you see here, uh, uh, now what should be my clock frequency? Okay, my clock frequency uh, doesn't have to cater for an, uh, uh, of this this particular figure. Here, here, if you see uh, the entire for the entire system, okay, the clock has to be the time period of the clock has to be greater than uh, this total figure. Now, whereas in this case, the clock because I have put registers in between, okay, and only one computation is happening per clock, uh, so my clock frequency has to be uh, greater than one TP adder. Okay, uh, you, you can say uh, carry in this particular case because carry is to be generated. Uh, carry plus a T setup and uh, a T no, uh, clock to queue setup is of this flip flop and uh, from clock to queue so this much is the so this if you see these two uh, figures are generally uh, negligible uh, compared to the uh, adder delays okay uh, so if you can uh, you can roughly say that my uh, clock will be and the clock which i can use in this particular uh, uh, case uh, can be uh, four times faster okay uh, here if you see here if this is the clock now uh, the clock out here can be uh, four times uh, faster okay uh, uh, but uh, the final data available here once i uh, put a data out here right if i put a data out here uh, the final data will be available after four clocks okay it will be available only after four clocks but uh, each clock is almost uh, one fourth the uh, propagation delay so uh, if i uh, speak uh, if i uh, no, uh, no, i have to project it like i can tell it like this that uh, the total functional uh, delay is going to be four clocks which is going to come approximately the same thing which we had done earlier but there is an added advantage now what is the added advantage uh, suppose i have given a uh, one bit of data out here right uh, and after the first clock uh, this data uh, has come into this register uh, this data uh, has been captured here uh, the ne this data has been captured in this register and this data has been captured in this register okay in the second clock uh, i can place here the next set of data i don't have to wait for uh, all the four uh, clocks okay every clock i can uh, put a new data out here right okay so uh, as these data are moving uh, forward out here the new data can start coming in here right this full adder has computed the uh, least significant bit and it has pushed this data to this register in the next clock this will be able to take the next data okay uh, because that is not going to uh, 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 change anything out here right because uh, they're all uh, registers the new data will be again uh, put in this register because the pre first data has already in the second clock cycle that will be computed so you have the next data being captured here so so if you see here uh, in this the throughput uh, is an uh, 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 t clock that means uh, every uh, clock i will get uh, suppose every clock i am giving a new data here okay at, at t0 i have given one data t1 t2 t3 i am giving new data so at uh, t4 t5 t6 t7 i will keep getting uh, uh, another sum out here uh, and carry obviously from here uh, that means that every one clock cycle i will get an uh, computed value here so so you see here there is an uh, increase in uh, throughput that that means we are not uh, wasting the uh, no, uh, full adders we are using it to the uh, full uh, efficiency once it has compute like in the previous case once this has computed we are waiting for these adders also to complete their computation whereas in this case once uh, this has uh, 
completed its function, then it is uh, taking a new data, right? Similarly, once this has finished its complete, it's not waiting for these two uh, to uh, finish its work. It is taking a new data. So this is what an uh, pipelining uh, is all about. So we have an uh, we can uh, increase the uh, throughput. Uh, is this uh, concept understood by uh, all of you? Uh, how many uh, uh, C, C out will come after four clock cycles? Right, fourth clock cycle, and uh, uh, this will be computed. So this uh, full adder will give sum as well as uh, carry. Okay, both will be uh, given here. Right. So uh, obviously, uh, the, the uh, uh, no, uh, there will be uh, area and power uh, over it. Okay, uh, in this particular case, there will be area and uh, prop uh, propagation uh, delay is going to be the uh, same. Yeah only the throughput will be uh, 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 high. So, uh, this is a uh, very, very uh, big achievement uh, because you are not uh, wasting the processor, uh, right? You are co parallelly uh, computing. So, uh, once you have given uh, one data for computing, you have uh, also given, uh, waited just for one clock and now you have given the processor, the next data, you start computing the next data, right? You are not waiting for uh, four clock cycles uh, for it to finish that uh, data. So, this is the, uh, so throughput, uh, basically we are targeting uh, throughput, okay. But obviously the g gate complexity uh, increases and the total uh, power also uh, increases, okay. But but still, uh, no, uh, overall there is a uh, huge. Now, uh, I am only uh, talking about an uh, four bit an adder, right. You, you have an 64 bit an uh, adders also, right, you know, these days. So, you can uh, understand the uh, kind of uh, savings, you know, which is there, which is going to be there in those uh, systems, right. So, this is just an, in, in four bit itself, uh, no, almost in a four, in a four times the, uh, see, see this clock, uh, uh, no, if you, when 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 I say I can use four times faster clock, uh, if you see the overall in the in the overall uh, system, okay, uh, now I can use an higher clock. That means my uh, uh, other operations also gets an, uh, 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 they become faster, right? Uh, memory read, right? The overall system clock. So this decides the overall system clock. Uh, so we are uh, we should not uh, look at isolation the, about the propagation delay here because uh, when I am saying why using the pipeline uh, adder I am getting a higher throughput that also means that I am able to use an, a higher clock. So, the system clock itself is uh, na, uh, yeah. Uh, how do you got uh, 22 uh, zero? So, these are all registers right 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20 22 of them. Uh, they are all uh, registers right. So, that is all uh, 22 registers ok. So, ok. So, uh, you understood little bit about a uh, pipeline. Now, uh, we are talking about uh, all these uh, uh, pipelines. Okay, uh, we were talking about uh, they need not be uh, static registers. Okay, uh, they can be uh, dynamic registers also because uh, last time, if you remember, uh, what was the uh, dynamic registers? It said for high frequency applications, we can use uh, dynamic registers wherein the data can be stored in, in the uh, uh, input and a gate capacitance, right? In the intrinsic gate capacitance. So, these kind of registers, you know, in, in this particular block, if you see, they need not be static. So, they, they need not be an, an, uh, 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 an uh, what uh, we learnt about, an, uh, I think, uh, eight uh, uh, static CMOS with eight transistors. That need not be the case here, right? So, it can be a uh, simple uh, uh, dynamic registers here because if you see here the data needs to be uh, stored only for a, a few uh, 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 nanoseconds only in, mostly they will operate in gigahertz range so the data because the data is continuously being updated here new data is coming in here these data so all these registers uh, here in this particular uh, architecture can be uh, dynamic registers and they need not be uh, static registers okay uh, so, uh, for these, uh, now if you see the same thing can happen in a uh, 4-bit uh, multiplier also. Uh, uh, I hope you have uh, done 4-bit multiplier in your VLSI class. Uh, have you done it? Uh, or, or I need to uh, touch upon this. Okay. Uh, so, if you see an, a 4-bit multiplier, you how do you multiply uh, two bits like, right, right? If it is an, uh, 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 a, if you multiply uh, B3, B2, B1, V0 with an uh, A0 uh, 
uh, a1 a2 a3 two bits you 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 multiply then you have a0 b0 a0 b1 right it, it, it these are all known as the uh, partial uh, products okay this, i am just uh, uh, touching upon uh, this this circuit you have already done your vlsi so we'll just see how pipelining helps in this case so you have an a half adder and a full adder so you have this kind of an a structure uh, in which there is an all combinational blocks are there right and, and, and then you get the uh, product out here right so th this is known as an a four bit uh, a multiplier which is generally used now if you see in the pipelining uh, so uh, uh, you can insert and uh, this is only uh, two stages of pipelining so straight away you you can uh, double the uh, frequency so you can uh, put an uh, register in between these these are all uh, shown in uh, registers here uh, so uh, after one set of computation you can put one register and then you can put uh, from stage 2 so these kind of uh, things are known as a uh, pipelining so it, it can be done in a uh, multiplier so uh, if you see here uh, the kind of uh, savings it is there uh, there otherwise this has to propagate you know, from one half adder half adder full adder half adder again half adder full adder uh, almost you know, seven blocks it has to uh, you know, uh, the propagation delays uh, proportional to that so you can you know, uh, use an uh, this is just again remember for just for an uh, four bit and you know, a multiplier itself so you, you can uh, save a lot of you know, uh, time uh, and in increase your uh, throughput by using you know, a pipelining okay uh, so, uh, so this was just an uh, uh, pipelining is not a uh, part of our course right now. I will just introduce the concept of pipelining so that uh, we start learning about the uh, pipelining with latches. Okay. Uh, now, uh, in in pipelining with uh, latches, uh, again uh, we don't have we need not uh, use an uh, flip flops na uh, uh, our registers na uh, we can uh, use an uh, uh, latches itself na uh, uh, for. Uh, pipelining okay uh, only uh, thing which is to be uh, taken uh, care of here here is uh, like the subsequent uh, uh, stages uh, can be uh, uh, given a uh, clock and and clock bar okay so when 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 i'm telling in in these betweens like this is an register uh, right and and these are these are registers it comes consecutive uh, registers out here so uh, here what we are doing is uh, we are using an uh, instead of an uh, uh, flip flops we are using an uh, uh, latches and giving an uh, clock and clock bar signal so uh, these kind of arrangement also uh, is okay in the pipelining uh, structure okay you can use just an uh, latch so the, if you see here so this there won't be any uh, area uh, overhead because we are just using an uh, latch out here okay um, another advantage of uh, using uh, these kind of on uh, a pipelining latches is uh, between uh, see see this input is sampled here during uh, clock out here you can use an a functional block in between uh, that means you can use an a uh, you can have an uh, inputs coming from uh, uh, other sources also uh, here or you can have a combinational block also uh, out here right uh, for for example you can uh, have a half adder out here also uh, one of the data uh, uh, can be uh, uh, through through this and and you can have parallel data coming here right and those uh, parallel data uh, can be clocked or or uh, that, that can be uh, dynamic uh, or, or uh, static okay we'll see one uh, diagram like that so uh, a functional blocks can be uh, incorporated uh, this is one functional block this is another functional block uh, which has been incorporated in between uh, two cascaded uh, latches so if you see here when the clock is uh, going high out here when the clock, so this has become transparent so input data is available to the functional uh, block out here so the functional block can um, compute right so uh, what is not shown here so when i say uh, f obviously it means there are uh, other inputs also available to this functional block right so uh, it could be a and gate nand gate or a more more complex right it could be a half adder full adder so you will find sir uh, yeah hello tell me so sorry to disturb this is clock bar is going high not clock right no the uh, yeah okay yeah clock bar is going high right okay a uh, uh, clock bar is uh, going uh, high so uh, in that case okay this this data gets uh, now fixed out here right when the clock bar is going here hi then now this data is now uh, captured out here right now it, the f is uh, start will st it has to start uh, computing the data uh, and when the clock bar is going low uh, at that particular time this data will be uh, captured by the uh, next uh, stage okay 
uh, uh, thank you for uh, pointing out that uh, so you will find uh, f can take uh, half of the clock cycle for uh, computation right so generally uh, that much time is wasted out here by putting a functional block in between uh, although uh, we will achieve pipelining now also we are going to uh, save time also so there are uh, two things uh, available right so normally uh, if you use an, an uh, flip flop uh, so uh, this much time uh, will be uh, an, uh, wasted out here in this particular case we are using uh, uh, latches okay instead of uh, flip flops out here and we are uh, allowing f to uh, 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 do the computation right so if i say when the clock bar is going high okay uh, be just before going high whatever data in was available here that is captured at the input of this inverter okay uh, and then uh, this data has to be tr you know, transferred on to the next stage that will happen again when the uh, clock bar is going low so there is one uh, half clock uh, uh, clock time period available for us and we have inserted a functional block so this functional block uh, during this time which is available to us it is going to uh, compute and uh, do some uh, uh, task for us so f is we are going to use this time to uh, in we have inserted a functional block and it is going to do uh, some computation so that is available here now uh, when the uh, when the clock is going uh, uh, in the in the next uh, cycle when the when the clock is going high so this data uh, uh, no, this will be switched off at, at that at that particular edge the data will be captured here now uh, g will start uh, uh, computing okay so if you see here there is uh, no if if the clocks are not uh, overlapping uh, although we are using latches there will be uh, 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 no uh, right uh, 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 race around problem uh, essentially you can uh, consider this as a master slave flip flop uh, only thing is uh, uh, so um, how is a master slave flip flop made by again using uh, uh, two latches with uh, 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 clocks which are 180 degree uh, opposite okay uh, only thing is we are inserting uh, functional blocks in between okay so we can do pipelining uh, instead of having uh, in between the pipe what is what, what uh, no, we want to uh, learn from here is now uh, instead of using a full flip flop in in pipelining uh, we can use uh, latches also yeah no problem okay uh, see uh, what we uh, saw here in the pipelining structures was here we were uh, using uh, registers out here right so uh, registers means uh, flip flops generally means now uh, flip flops okay uh, now we are uh, talking about uh, instead of using an uh, full uh, register out here uh, we can just use an uh, dynamic uh, latch okay uh, in in dynamic latch uh, what is required it is just a simple uh, inverter out here right and we are uh, and a pass transistor so if you see here only three transistors have been used here instead of an a uh, full register uh, we are giving a clock signal here and we are giving an uh, but only thing is when we are uh, cascading in the next uh, this output to the next register we need to use an a uh, clock bar signal and a clock signal okay by using alternate clock and clock bar signal uh, we are uh, avoiding the requirement of an flip flop and instead uh, we are using uh, latches okay this this becomes a latch right only this much will, will become a latch so instead of using an uh, flip flop uh, we are able to use an uh, latch in 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 the pipelining structures okay uh, so th this is the functional blocks which are there so uh, instead of a full flip flop we are just using a latch made up of now here the latch is just three transistors okay and and also we are using clock and clock bar signal so uh, every positive edge and the negative edge and uh, the pipelining has been achieved so so two things have happened here uh, one uh, otherwise if you use a flip flop and uh, uh, it will be triggered only during the uh, you know, positive edge or the negative edge uh, here uh, you see the pipelining is happening at every and uh, uh, every edge uh, in positive edge also one pipelining has been achieved in the negative edge also the second pipelining uh, has been uh, achieved okay so it is have we are using both the edges for pipelining also uh, we are uh, not using a register instead we are using an a latch okay so when the clock is uh, when when the data is available here when the clock is going low at that particular instance whatever data was available here that will be captured here and now 
this data will be captured by the next stage whenever this uh, clock signal is uh, uh, th this clock bar signal is going uh, low right so you have uh, this much one full uh, half clock cycle available here for f2 uh, compute the this uh, uh, to do, do the computation so the propagation delay of f uh, has to be less than uh, t by 2 of the clock okay so that's the only uh, requirement so so uh, like in a normal flip flop this time also is generally wasted so here by inserting an uh, pipelining module uh, in between uh, these two latches uh, we are again uh, saving this time also so you see uh, it, this this particular structure has got uh, multiple uh, advantages okay uh, is it uh, uh, clear to all of you okay so uh, we we can you uh, yeah okay uh, so uh, we can uh, also uh, have and 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 uh, nora cmos nora is nothing but uh, no race around cmos okay uh, so uh, th this is again it it uh, we have seen here uh, in this particular uh, circuit uh, which we uh, learned here okay uh, one of the uh, most uh, bigger uh, disadvantage uh, yeah uh, f and and uh, g are purely uh, purely uh, combinational okay uh, that is that is there uh, so uh, we'll see in the nora in the next uh, na, na family of uh, latches uh, of uh, flip flops which we are going to learn uh, these need not be combinational uh, okay here now uh, in this particular structure there are uh, two disadvantages uh, first f and g have to be purely uh, combinational okay uh, like uh, ritu has brought out so that is one disadvantage the second one is uh, it is it, no, it is uh, uh, prone to uh, jitter okay so uh, errors can happen if there are jitters that means clock and clock bar uh, have to be perfectly 180 degree out of phase so these are the two uh, disadvantage uh, with this particular uh, circuit okay uh, so uh, to uh, avoid that uh, we have a c square uh, mos logic right last time also uh, we saw this so that in in in, in c square mos logic uh, you have an, uh, two inverters like this uh, which are tri state buffers and the uh, here you give clock and this give a clock bar right and then you inserted a functional block out here all right so this was the uh, thing which we have uh, learnt in the last class so by doing uh, so uh, they, it, it is uh, 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 it becomes immune to the uh, jitter so in the last class uh, we saw that in, there was no functional block here we just learnt about how to cascade uh, to uh, uh, tri state buffers with a uh, uh, clock 180 degree and it avoids an uh, uh, race around condition or the tra no, it won't become transparent even if there is a clock jitter because this clock and, and this clock if they are uh, still on we saw there is no uh, path out here right so that is what we learnt in the last class uh, but when we uh, make an, an a pipeline and logic using uh, c square logic okay in which uh, we put f and uh, g okay then uh, if you see here uh, because there is a functional logic in between there are uh, chances of an uh, 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 race around in zero zero suppose this is an uh, inverter here so so if you see here in, in this particular case if you are zero zero means uh, this uh, this clock will be on right so uh, this clock will be on so there is a path like this for this node to get charged here so this can get uh, discharged here uh, again and a zero is here so this node can get uh, charge here so this will become this zero can get transmitted here now in the previous case uh, when we studied uh, just about c square logic this module was not there uh, if this module was not there if you see here uh, this can get charged to one here right but this will not get further transmitted uh, because there is no nmos here so if, if it is one here this pmos remains off this clock is off so in that particular if you remember from the last class uh, so there was no problem so in this when we are inserting functional blocks so there can be a race around a uh, problem uh, because uh, these functional blocks so in this particular example we have taken this functional block to be an uh, inverter it could be a uh, complex gate also but um, because of the uh, one negative logic being introduced uh, in between in the functional block so there there could be a problem of uh, race around okay so uh, and similarly for one one also there could be a uh, condition where there could be some uh, uh, race around 
विच दिस इनवर्टर इज वै इज देर एंड इनवर्टर इन द लास्ट स्टेज हिय या बिकॉज इफ यू सी हर हाउ डस एन सी स्क्वेर मॉस लॉजिक वर्क इनपुट इज सैंपल हियर वेन द क्लॉक इज हई right when the clock is high this data will be uh, sampled uh, here right and 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 that time this this will be low right and this will be here so this uh, high data uh, <coughs> excuse me <coughs> the functional block also will take and compute here and and when the uh, clock is going from uh, high to low this data will be captured here right so this uh, acts like a uh, uh, register out here now right so that's how a register works right so you have uh, it it will be uh, edge triggered here uh, in this case it will be negative edge triggered during the positive edge of the trigger this data will be available here uh, and this functional uh, block will compute the data uh, when the clock is going uh, from uh, high to low then this data gets isolated from here because this clock is going low uh, this goes so uh, so the whatever uh, data is available from the functional block okay uh, that will be uh, captured and will be available here so this uh, this this entire thing acts like an uh, register out here like there the, that is uh, c square mos so uh, this is an uh, so is it okay how it works okay uh but from g again it passes through it uh, uh uh here is it the, this is the uh, 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 next uh, stage actually right so uh, this becomes an uh, one uh, full block out here right so uh, uh, this is the uh, next stage again uh, so you don't have to have this again in a full stage out here right so this data will be captured here this is again a clock given here right so so this will be captured again when this is going uh, low out here uh, this is a uh, clock bar right so uh, again when there is a transition is the clock so you have uh, so you, uh, so again there will be only a uh, uh, one set of inverters like this here so it will continue the pipelining will continue like this uh, every place you won't have you know, to, this is just the input stage during the uh, positive edge of the data data will be uh, uh, captured here in the negative edge uh, the data will be captured Uh, here uh, again in the positive edge uh, this is, this data will be uh, captured into the next stage so it will go like that now uh, forward right okay uh, okay uh, so uh, nice you uh, brought it out out here see uh, if you see here uh, so uh, this this won't this, the entire block won't be uh, repeated here so there will be uh, only uh, uh, one set of an uh, 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 tri state buffer after uh, which will be after every functional block here so you will find only uh, four additional if you see here in this pipelining structure only uh, additionally only and uh, uh, four transistors are uh, inserted uh, after every uh, functional block because these are all uh, dynamic uh, 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 latches <coughs> uh, so uh, so uh, here you, you find there is an uh, issue with the uh, race around uh, in this particular uh, schematic uh as f uh yeah uh, how is this arrangement in a pipeline uh no no uh, you we have an uh, uh, registers out here uh, and and then the uh, clock no now if you see here what could be the uh, clock frequency the clock frequency is uh, uh, is dependent only a t uh, f is uh, uh, the propagation delay uh, corresponding to um, uh, f Uh, should be lesser than t by 2 that's the requirement right but if you don't have a pipeline structure if you have f g h i j uh, all cascaded then the uh, propagation delay increases right uh, in this particular case uh, what would be the clock frequency right it it will be uh, only uh, f the time taken by f is only the time between the positive and the negative edge of the clocks so it is only uh, half the time required right Uh, and 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 once this data moves forward you can push the next data also uh, here so uh, so uh, you can uh, so the throughput is also high uh, is it okay ritu yeah i keep missing out uh, these these kind of points so it is better you keep uh, asking this so if you see here the pipelining what is the pipelining requirement that the uh, clock uh, should not be dependent on the uh, overall delay but 
a small small you know, block delay right individual block delay so uh, so uh, that is the reason so if you see here uh, uh, the clock frequency uh, will be uh, decided by the uh, block which has the uh, if there is a chain like this there is a, a big chain here so the clock frequency has to cater for the uh, uh, de uh, the largest delay module okay whatever f g h i j so may maybe j will have the uh, highest delay right then uh, t uh, so then the t clock uh, should be uh, the uh, 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 t by 2 uh, right we should should cater for that delay by the uh, the worst case delay uh, one of the blocks okay so that is the requirement and also uh, as the data keeps uh, moving it's a pipeline structure you can uh, push new data also because once it is sampled here now this is ready to take the next data here so both these requirements are uh, met met here that is uh, no, no, parallel processing uh, as well as the uh, higher clock speed so uh, both the requirements are uh, met here so that is why it is known as c, uh, c square mass logic okay so uh, in this particular case uh, we said uh, there is an uh, issue with the uh, overlap uh, of the clocks so uh, to uh, uh, avoid that now uh, what we can do is uh, we can have an uh, an, a pull down network here and a pull up network here uh, and if you see here uh, if you have this kind of arrangement okay what happens is this is a functional block now here uh, you have uh, at the, uh, this is this becomes a dynamic logic here in this case uh, so when the uh, uh, clock is uh, low here this is a uh, pre charge to uh, one and this particular node is uh, pre charge to uh, one out here uh, and then uh, uh, you have an uh, 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 this uh, and what happens here when the clock is so uh, this this node is precharged to a zero out here right so this is precharged to one uh, this is uh, precharged to uh, zero uh, and and when the clock goes high so th this will be uh, uh, pulling it down uh, and and this network will be uh, pulling it uh, up out here right so you have an pdn and you have an uh, pull up network out here uh, here also some inputs can come okay uh, so uh, so that is the reason it is uh, shown as uh, only one input is coming from here it can have uh, several inputs from uh, such similar pull down networks coming in here so that is not uh, shown here so pull up network means obviously uh, this is uh, not computing uh, just one input you have other inputs also uh, coming here and then uh, you have an uh, latch which is coming here okay so so this particular uh, structure uh, it it uh, prevents the this problem of uh, 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 clock jitter okay which is uh, propagating here because uh, you have an uh, pull down network which gets uh, charged to one here uh, and when the uh, clock is zero here so this is precharged to uh, zero here so uh, even if there is a little bit of uh, jitter that doesn't uh, affect the functioning of this uh, uh, particular uh, uh, pull down network uh, delay uh, should be less than the uh, clock period uh, s that has to be less than the uh, clock period uh, in this particular case okay uh, so uh, here also the same uh, restriction uh, comes in okay uh, so if you see here uh, now uh, uh, when the clock is high here again okay uh, when the uh, when the clock is uh, high here this is uh, pre charged to one so uh, depending on the input uh, if the input is such that it needs to be uh, pulled down to zero it will be pulled down to zero uh, otherwise it will uh, remain uh, one out here right okay uh, similarly uh, this clock okay uh, uh, now if it is uh, one out here uh, uh, here then this is precharged to uh, uh, zero out here so it will remain suppose this is an inverter it will remain to zero if it is zero here then this will be uh, activated here so this will be precharged to one so you have an a domino effect right uh, if it is one here this remains in a, a, a zero out here suppose this is an inverter i am taking a specific example uh, suppose there it is just an inverter so if it is a zero here if it is it will uh, continue to re, uh, remain uh, one here uh, so even if this gets an, uh, switched off a little late because of the uh, clock jitter uh, you know, it, it does uh, you know, there is uh, it, it, the data won't pass through and through in this particular case right so this is precharged to one so uh, when the clock goes high depending 
depending on the input, this particular note will be uh, either it will continue to remain 1 or it will be uh, pulled to uh, 0 out here. If it is getting uh, pulled to 0, uh, so then in this case, uh, if it is an inverter, this node will get charged to 1 because this is a pull up network. Whereas, uh, 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 otherwise, uh, uh, it is uh, uh, there could be other inputs also. So, that will uh, decide whether this node requires to be uh, pulled up or uh, known. Right? Uh, so, uh, in this case, whole time uh, requirement uh, uh, is uh, nil. Uh, uh, no, uh, I think one inverter delay uh, whole time will be uh, required here. Uh, uh, because uh, like when the clock is uh, going uh, high uh, high out here right uh, mm, uh, let, let's see uh, what happens uh, uh, here uh, when when the clock is uh, going low uh, this is g getting uh, activated out here but this uh, data needs to be uh, uh, remain uh, stable when the so, so uh, if you see here uh, uh, the clock is going uh, uh, low here. This gate will be uh, enabled, right? You have given a clock bar and clock here. When the clock is going low, this is also uh, enabled here, right? So, uh, at least this data uh, has to remain uh, uh, valid uh, till that time. Uh, no, so uh, it will get uh, transmitted. Okay, I'll, I'll have a relook at this and then I will discuss that later on. Okay, uh, so uh, uh, here uh, you have, see, this is one, uh, so in, in the pipelining, okay, you have a uh, uh, C module and you have a uh, C bar module. So, when you are uh, doing like uh, on a cascading one stage to other, uh, like we said here in the previous case, uh, where, where uh, we were having clock in the next stage clock bar and, and the next stage clock, uh, same thing can be done here with the NORA CMOS also. So, uh, you have an uh, uh, clock module and you can have the uh, clock bar module also here, right? One clock module, then a clock bar module. Then again, you cascade another clock module. So, you can uh, go on like that. Uh, but also what is uh, shown out here is, uh, here this pull-up network is a uh, dynamic network, okay? Uh, whereas, uh, here you have shown, we have shown that the pull-up network, instead of a pull-up network, a uh, static network has been uh, introduced out here in the uh, next stage. This is just an example, right? When we are cascading, okay, NORA CMOS logic, so this is the first clock module, this is the clock bar module. In this particular example, uh, in this stage, it is a uh, pull-up network. If you see, it's a uh, dynamic logic has been used. Okay, uh, why dynamic logic has been used? Because uh, here it is going to be pre-charged to zero, and depending on the pull-up ne pull-up uh, network, this will be uh, pulled to one, or it will continue to remain zero. So only one input has been shown here coming from here. There could be uh, similar inputs uh, coming here, right? So, that is not shown here. So, this is a pull-up network. So, this is again a pre-charge to 1 depending on I, uh, IN1, IN2, IN3. Uh, this is being uh, pulled up. On a, uh, it is uh, either it will remain 1 or pull to 0. Uh, here, this output is coupled here. I can have IN4, IN5, IN6 coming here um, or uh, from similar other blocks inputs coming here. So, they are also have to be uh, dynamic in nature because this is a dynamic block again. This is pre-charged to 0 here uh, and then accordingly based on the input. So, this is also a, a dynamic you know, and this is the uh, latch out here. So, these two blocks are dynamic latches. So, the advantage with this NORA CMOS is uh, here in, in between you could have an uh, functional uh, combinational block also right so so these were two dynamic blocks it is just shown here so you can here also you can have an, an uh, instead of an dynamic you can have an uh, static logic here so you, we have a uh, static logic uh, out here so in this particular case so you can so basically you can have an a uh, uh, clock module a uh, clock bar module again clock module and in any of these modules uh, it can be a mix and match of dynamic and uh, static uh, uh, logic. So, that is the advantage of having a uh, NORA uh, CMOS logic. Okay. Uh, so, uh, we will take an, uh, 5 minutes and uh, uh, 10 minutes break and then uh, we will learn about uh, how to do uh, static timing analysis. Okay. Uh, so, that is uh, slightly uh, uh, interesting and a lesser complex thing. Okay. So, let us take an uh, 10 minutes break. It is 11.25 now. So, 11.35 uh, we will uh, reassemble. Thanks a lot.